let's start by reflecting a little bit further. Uh, they're, they're milking every <laughs> drop of this success on the Lionesses. This is the front <laughs> celebrations of, of keep the going. papers still yeah. this morning. Um, yeah, I mean, carrying on celebrating. I mean, I'm glad to hear I'm not the only one who's a little <laughs> bit bored. Um, I, it's fantastic. It is. It's fantastic. They won. Brilliant. They beat Germany. Excellent, excellent. But I do think something that is winding me up a little bit is how this seems to be presented as all about, you know, a massive win for feminism, as, this, as if we're... Uh, we're all still chained to us, mm. to the kitchen sink or something, like we're in the 60s. You know, the Baroness Sue Campbell of the FA, Director of Women's Football, said, I hope it gives women and girls real optimism that if they want to do something in life, whatever it is, if they work hard, they're going to achieve it. Thanks for that. Girls already <laughs> think that. You know, yeah. what is this? And also, it's not going to stop the fact that most, not most, but a lot of girls aren't interested in football, and that's OK. Mm -hmm. There's another... Th I mean, Leo uh, Williamson, the, the, the captain, said it's not women's football, it's just football, which is a, an interesting perspective, well, isn't that it? Too, and also, a lot of people have been using this to slag off the men's team. Quite rightly, some and... may say. <laughs> but I don't understand it. Yeah. We should be behind, or, you know, men, women alike, surely? Yeah. No? Well, I mean, yeah, I was into it for about 24 hours and I'm, I'm quickly losing interest, but I know I'm in the Ooh. minority when it comes Ooh. to football. Ooh. No, I, I have to say... World Cup but this, next year. I think probably... Shoot me if I'm wrong, viewers, dear viewers and listeners, a lot of women may feel the same. Yeah. John, John, just a thought, a bit of comment as to why there's been no number 10 reception. Yes, interesting. But, you know, normally, that, like the cricket team that we saw successful, they turned up at it number was... 10 and had a drink and so on. So the, when they turned up at number 10, they'd had a drink already. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, they, were bounce, they were bouncing famously. off the corridors yeah. and um, then they went outside and they played on uh, Leo's play equipment in the garden. Didn't break it, but they played on it. Ah. Like swinging on... Uh, Leah's swing, I can see it from my, my office. Look, I, th I think uh, normally you'd expect the Prime Minister uh, to have brought in yeah. the women's team immediately. Uh, Political and, capital, of course. But I get the sense, I get the sense that the PM uh, is as uh, interested in football as Emily is. Um, I just don't think it's his sport. I, and uh, I think he should probably have been made to bring them in. Is it because the what was his reason? It's a holiday snub, according to the front of the Times. I know he was in Northern in Ireland yesterday. Yeah, but we're, we're in a bit of a limbo at the moment, aren't we? Yeah, he'd, da he'd, have, he'd have been damned. If he had yeah, because he, he was he wasn't at Wembley, of course, for the game. He's going on holiday tomorrow, Wednesday, for a week. But I mean, they could have organised it before tomorrow. Well, he wasn't in Wembley to be fair, because he had his wedding at the weekend, <laughs> so he was a little bit tired. Well, that's up. more important than football. <laughs> is he allowed to go on a proper holiday now? You know, because he went probably that... not. Oh, that's oh, right. Having that Cornwall nasty, holidays. That horrible that's looking right. um, camping trip, didn't he, oh. in the rain? Because that's what prime ministers have to do to show they're normal. Yeah, but did he, he had a honeymoon on on a Must quite exotic boat. Yes, in in the, the West by Indies. Yeah. Well, One of yes, his, yeah. yeah. We shall see.